Hi there guys, my name's Phil Akers. Um, I'm here at the Belfry today. I'm one of the senior teaching pros and I'm going to give you a few tips on how to hit that ball a little bit farther. So we all know when um, we're hitting drivers that you tend to see the best drivers in the world hitting that ball very high but not with a lot of spin and carrying that ball out there a long way. And what a lot of amateurs will try and copy is that hitting upwards with the club head travels from low to high through the shot, which is exactly right. But what you do find with a lot of amateurs when they try and do this, instead of attacking that ball upwards and maintaining the loft, they'll often flick a little bit and add loft to it. Even though their angle of attack is upwards, they're adding loft, which is going to increase the amount of spin that we uh, create. What you'll tend to find is that your left wrist position will tend to be in a little bit more that way when we hit it okay. So the drill that we've got here, I just want you to clip the tee okay, so we're not trying to disrupt the tee, we're not moving it out of the ground like when we hit down very much on shots, but I want you to try and finish holding that club and your arms in a bit of a Y position. So that club and your two arms are gonna finish through there rather than finishing in a flicky position and you build up the speed on this one okay until you start to feel that extension and then folding up after okay so this is just a drill to do with short shots maybe under 100 yards or so so I'm going to hit one now and show you what it should look like so normal setup and then we're just going to try and clip it off the top and hold that position there where I haven't increased the loft on the club, even though I've still hit upwards. Hopefully this will help you and get you hitting some longer shots.